Okay, let's uh, get to picking this now. What I'm going to be using for this is what we'd call a two-in-one tool. This one specifically was made by a guy named Yeko Fagerlund in Finland. He's a fantastic lock picker and a good friend, and developed this tool as a response to a challenge given him by the head of the Avis Corporation, actually, uh, to see if he could both pick and decode one of their locks, so actually get that bidding back. In this video, we're going to talk about the picking, but in the next one, I'll explain the method behind decoding these. Okay. So, the important functions of this tool for us today are that the very thin tip at the end is what's actually going to manipulate each of the individual disks inside the lock. Now, the reason that the tip is so thin is that once we've set one disk, we're actually going to push forward and rotate back in that open spacer that we saw from the first video. Because the spacer is completely open inside, we have a lot of freedom of movement, but there's a, it's a very thin space, so we need a very thin tip in order to move in that area. This middle section is just going to be for tension. Now, with tension applied to that first disc in the lock, the zero disc, we're going to be pushing on the sidebar, because it's that zero disc that pushes the sidebar down into the rest of the gates. So as long as we're pushing that with our tensioning section, we'll be able to feel as each disc scrapes along the sidebar and the sidebar clicks into the gate on the disc. <clears throat> now the barrel of that tension section has a series of striations. Those striations are going to let us know what disc we're working on at any given time. A couple other features of this tool, but we'll talk about those in the next video. So, I'm just going to pop the lock into our vise. There we go. <clears throat> Make sure that the tip is lined up to the tension section so they can both pass through easily. And uh, start applying tension. So, for simplicity's sake with the video, I am actually looking at what I'm doing. But, you can feel each individual disc as it sets on the sidebar. Just like you can feel each individual pin in the pin tumbler lock as they set on the shear line. With tension applied, you're just finding the disc that's binding, moving it into position. Disc after disc after disc, just like picking any other lock. Tension and manipulation. That's all there is to it. So, yeah, there we go. It's open. And when that's turned, the shaft will open up and the lock is, uh, well, open, as I said. So, I hope that the picking made sense. I want to explain to you now how the same tool can be used to actually decode the bidding while we're picking.